Welcome back to Reactor Blocks Prime's patch tutorial. This is the third and final part of this series. In this episode, we're going to add some reverb via the rounds reverb module to our rhythmic patch. So let's get into it. We're going to start by muting the mix and we're going to go to our low pass gate and molt the output. Put that into the reverb in. Molt it again, put that in the reverb in right, so we have a signal on our left and right. Take the reverb out left and out right, and put that into the second channel of the mixer, and now we're gonna start our patch. So now we're gonna tweak some of the parameters of the reverb. We're gonna start by adding some gain to the feedback, and I'm changing the size of the reverb. You know, just dial it into taste. We're gonna add some high pass filter. Let me pull this down, I'll pull it up a little bit. We'll go extreme for this demo. A little more high pass. I'll unmute the signal so we can hear them both together. Okay, so now that we have some reverb, we want to do what we did with the other patches and get some modulation going, aka moving this sound and moving the parameters of this reverb without having to have eight arms. So we're going to take the output of our LFO, put in modulation bus A, take the output of our other LFO and put it into modulation bus B. So now we'll engage modulation bus A and we'll start dialing in some different parameters um, and, and adding our LFO automation to it. And again, you know, just experiment and do what sounds good to you. to our low pass gates and experiment with some of the sounds of the different sounds of the low pass gate. So now it's on vanilla, we're going to click low pass so you can hear the low pass mode. I'm going to change it from vanilla to snappy. Take it off a of low pass. Put it back on. You know, again, just experiment with this and to kind of express yourself with the kind of, you know, sound design that you want to do. Try the smooth. Put that in low pass. So thank you again for joining me for Reactor Blocks Prime's patch tutorial. This patch tutorial has been from the West Coast Synthesis perspective, and this gives you kind of some of the fundamental building blocks for West Coast Synthesis. You know, you can apply this to a Eurorack system or, you know, any modular synthesizer. So stay tuned for more Reactor Blocks Prime's tutorials. The next one is going to be more of a traditional East Coast voice, and we'll get into that within the next week or so. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.